hello guys welcome to my channel today we will see second tutorial from the spatial analysis or hotspot and outlay analysis in the first tutorial we have seen how to use the hotspot analysis in order to determine patterns that have highest value from their surroundings today uh, we will see how to use the outlayer analysis in order to detect uh, patterns with highest and lowest value so um, completing this uh, outlayer analysis will help us to identify features that have uh, values uh, that are statistically significantly different from their neighborhood or polygon values so uh, this analysis will help us or it provides additional insight into the spatial uh, patterns of uh, our data set so to get this tool you can just simply search the uh, tool on the geoprocessing panel so write or type the outlayer or optimized outlayer analysis on the uh, geoprocessing panel and you can get the optimized outlayer uh, analysis special statistics tool so similar to the first one which is the optimized hotspot uh, analysis tool the optimized outlier analysis tool will interrogate our data to determine an appropriate neighborhood distance for their uh, analysis so the traditional outlier analysis tool like cluster in the outlier analysis tool uh, gives uh, more control over the uh, analysis parameter so uh, once you have opened the tool you can just input the input features and they give the output uh, feature name and uh, you have to select the analysis field so the, for the first one or input feature as i have told you before we are going to use this uh, usa counties data or snap data which is uh, supplemental nutrition assistance program data which is collected in 2009 for usa counties or so for entire usa so you are using this for uh, tutorial purpose so this will be our feature or input feature and uh, you have you can give the name of the output and uh, our analysis field will be the snap rate so we are going to determine the uh, patterns or hot and spo cold spots or outlets for this uh, snap participation rate so uh, here the performance of our adjusted adjustment field defines the number of uh, permutation to create uh, a random uh, distribution of the data so the tool will then uh, compare our data as a spatial distribution with a randomly generated value so to balance the precision and the processing time we will uh, leave the default for this part and for uh, next part we are going to expand the overlaid uh, setting here so in the first uh, tutorial for uh, hotspot analysis we have used the distance band of 75 kilometers so similarly uh, gives the distance band as 75 and is the unit uh, as kilometer and finally uh, you can um, click run and your processing will start So a uh, new layer will uh, add it to your uh, map canvas or the content pane. As you can see, the bright red and the blue features represent the spatial outlets from this map. The bright red and the, uh, the blue features are uh, patterns that represent the spatial uh, outlets for this data. So features with uh, high value surrounded by areas with low values are uh, called as high low outlets from the classification the features with uh, high value which is surrounded by area with low values are called as high low outlets and uh, they are displayed in the red color from this map features with uh, 
low value which is uh, surrounded by high values which is surrounded by low values so this red part shows that uh, uh, features or uh, counties which has highest rate of uh, snap participation for 2009 and surrounded by uh, a very low participation so we can call this as high low uh, spatial outliers similarly uh, features with uh, low value surrounded by areas with highest value are called as low high outliers or low high spatial uh, outliers and uh, from this map they are uh, displayed in dark blue dark blue parts show that uh, counties which has a very low snap participation and uh, surrounded by uh, counties which has uh, a very high spatial or a very high snap participation for that year so uh, we have the another classification the pink and the light blue colors from this map indicate that clusters of features with uh, statistically significantly high values which is the pink one and the statistically significantly low values which are the light blue so here we can analyze which area or which county or which polygon has highest value which is surrounded by the lowest value so uh, these clusters typically uh, aligns with the hot spot and the cold spot from the optimized hot spot uh, analysis tool so uh, simply you can use these outliers in order to determine uh, the features that has uh, high low outliers and low high uh, outliers so you can also compare your output with a uh, hotspot uh, or optimized hotspot analysis from the previous tutorial so using this uh, hotspot analysis and the outlier uh, analysis uh, you can locate uh, statistically significant clusters of both high and uh, low uh, snap rate or snap participation and uh, this information can help us in the allocation of snap resources to uh, areas of higher uh, food insecurities and uh, they can also help to identify areas where uh, eligible residents may be uh, underutilizing or not enrolling in the SNAP program. So the result can also help uh, to drive the decision to distribute or uh, to give the resources more uh, effectively and uh, equitably. So uh, this helps us to determine this kind of analysis in ArcGIS Pro. So these are the two uh, special analysis tool or pattern detection using code support in the outlayer uh, analysis in ArcGIS Pro. So thank you for your uh, time and see you in the next tutorial.